Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play Hunter, uh, with Radoth, with his wonderful blue shoulders, and Daisy. Um, I haven't done a video in ages, because I've had a lot of work to do, and it's been bad. Uh, well, no, no, it hasn't been bad, it's been good, but um, the fact that I haven't been doing any uh, videos is bad. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, let's go. Sorry, I had to uh, change the volume of my headphones. Things are getting pretty loud. Okay, so we are here in Bambler. Um, Bambala? Bambala, yeah. And, right, so we've got a jungle stalk feathers, get some trophies. Okay, uh, we've got another quest as well, which I believe I use uh, the flight master over there to fly all the way down to the uh, southern Stranglethorn, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I figured I'd finish off these quests first. Um, walk straight into the venture car, which I probably don't want to do. Um, you know what? You know what? Let's let's stop messing about. And uh, yeah, see, I haven't played I haven't played in like ages, and now I'm just doing stupid stuff just because I don't know <laughs> what I was doing last time. It's it's weird actually because after the last episode of Ratoth that I did, um, episode fifteen, I was super excited. I just wanted to keep playing and and keep recording and stuff, but I was busy, and then then just life get in the got in the way, I suppose, which is um. A shame, but oh well. We will persevere. Right. Let's uh, cast off some of this stuff. Go on, Daisy. So, we've got to get some feathers from these guys. Um, which probably could have been combined with the Ness and Wary quest, but uh, oh well. It is what it is. Um, shouldn't take too long to do, really. Come on, Daisy. Yeah. Daisy's still hissing like a sack of bricks. And it doesn't look like these have a 100% drop rate, which is irritating, but oh well. Oh, that was a big crit. Ah, that was an even bigger crit. Lovely. Wunderbar. Oh yeah, I got a new talent, didn't I? Uh, intimidation. Oh yeah, Intimidation. I should I should remember to use my stun when needed. Hunters. Oh, and I have Freezing Trap as well. That's pretty good. I did not notice that I got Freezing Trap last video, I don't think. I'm not sure what I, how I feel about um, abilities automatically being placed on your bars. I mean, I suppose it makes sense because players that haven't seen the ability before won't know that it's there. I don't know. But I find it... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Probably am. I mean, it's me for God's sake. But I just, I'd prefer it if they... I mean, um, Wildstar does this great great little system where it essentially pops up with a little thing and goes congratulations you've leveled up these are all the things that you get for this level which is great because you just see a really easy visual representation and if you uh, closed it early the level before it will show you the stuff that you got last level as well so there's no chance of you um, not seeing your new abilities right we don't need to kill that because that is a crocolisk but we do need to kill this guy yeah Lag. I cast steady shot loads. What's happening? Okay. He dead. He dead. We could finish up Northern Stranglethorn though. Go on to the Cape. Oh, is it called the Cape? Okay, fair enough. I thought it was called Southern. Maybe that's too um basic. Right. Plenty more of these to kill. Oh, I love the damage hunters do. Leveling as a hunter is just so easy. It's just so, so easy. I suppose leveling's just easy these days. I mean, I remember, um, what, in vanilla and stuff, it would take months to level. Like, it take ages. And considering I can get essentially two levels every, what, 40 minutes or so with these videos, I, uh, really shows how much faster the leveling process is these days. Right. Let's go get these trophies. As they're close. We must feed the voodoo. I assume you can feed voodoo. Not really well practiced in the art, to be honest. Not sure I'd want to be either. I don't know. I've, I've met someone that was all like, yeah, voodoo's a real thing. And I'm like, no, it's not. Stop. Stop that conversation. I hate it when someone comes up to me and starts trying to convince me of something absolutely absurd being real. Um, like voodoo being one thing. Um, just, I don't know. 
It's when people start telling me like these encounters with ghosts they've had, and so it looks like everything's dead here. But it's when someone starts telling me about the encounters of ghosts, I guess like I don't know. I mean, no offense. If you if you guys have if you guys have seen a ghost or think you've seen a ghost or whatever, and it seems real, then okay, fine. I'm not going to argue with your story, but I. I'm almost certain it'll be your brain making stuff up. I mean, for example, oh, the weird story I've had. To be fair, I was walking along in the snow, and it was just it was just winter. Uh, and there was a guy walking along the opposite side of the road, and he was um, he was just behind me, uh, not by much. Anyway, I uh, keep going down the road a bit, and then at one point I just I don't know why I just felt like turning around because the guy kind of creeped me out a bit. I'm not entirely sure why. But I looked back and the guy just disappeared into absolutely thin air. Like, it, there was no particular direction he could have turned. He could have jumped over a bush into a field, but then there were no tracks through the snow and I could see the field. So that was kind of weird. But I'm sure there was a perfectly reasonable explanation for it. I just have no idea what it is. So in my mind, he's a ghost. But nah, I, I, I doubt it. Though I think that is one of the most haunted roads in England, funnily enough. Eh, huh. but no. That stuff just doesn't fly with me. Right, I'm going to avoid all of them, because we don't need that. Who do we... what do we need to kill? Oh, is, is it the Lord? What? Or is it... what are we trying to get? The Morgosh Bounty. Okay, that's it on there. Right, okay. Um, Let's send my pet in first. Go. And good pet. Right, now we can start killing, because otherwise I would aggro the other one. I don't want that. Let's put a mend pet up as well. Okay, come on. Okay, that's fine. So, kill the two Mogosh lords. Mosh Og. I always say Mogosh, like, throughout my years of World of Warcraft. Oh, no. Oh, okay, those three are asleep. That's, that's pretty useful. Right, let's get this bounty. We're all done. Oh, before the spellcrafter gets up. Let's mount on my Zephyr. Away! Away! Haha. -ha. Agro ranges, how useful they are. And we have the little bridge. That's great. Okay, I think I did that pretty efficiently, actually. I was kind of expecting that to not go so well. Um, I am a sneaky orc. Aha. Ah, uh, yeah, Stranglethorn's awesome. Definitely one of my favourite zones in this game. Just yeah. I don't know, it's so, there's something about like running around a jungle and... But I think there's a lot of nostalgia as well. When I in, in vanilla I ended up in Stranglethorn for a very long time because A, you didn't have a mount until level 40, which is when you finished this zone. And B, I don't know, I was a rogue, I was bad, I just died a lot. Right. There you go. I open the... by fighting a Ventrico Shredder. Okay. Or using a sword blade, that's fine. Uh, bring Tumble Crystals back. Ah, that's some nice. Uh, do I want the hit? Yeah, I probably want the hit. I don't know. We'll see. What do you want? Okay. So it looks like we're just getting a lot of quests to go fuck about with the uh, venture go. Okay. Um, and speak with priestess who are at Bamblo. Okay. Mind vision ritual. Let's go. Let's see where this is taking me. Oh. Oh, it's the oh, it's the Lashdale hatchling from before. Oh sweet, so we're we're getting shown around Zulgarub. I'm almost certain that's little my lash tail hatchling from before. We've got a Bloodlord Mandokir. Wow. Zulgarub is so cool. It's a shame it's not used anymore. It's a um for those of you who don't know, it's a level sixty raid. And it's Look at it. It's trolls. It's awesome. I mean, I think people got a bit annoyed with it. There's a lot of really difficult pulls in here. Plenty of other warriors of your kind here, but I wouldn't worry about the competition. You have the bloodline of Orca and my oldest friend. You see, our souls are intertwined, yours and mine. Alright, okay. So the point is... <gasps> oh, does this become... Because um, Mandokia or whatever has, like, ads in the form of raptors when he's up on his perch. And I think... I think I... Theoretically, you're meant to be the one that hatched it. That's cool. Forget about that worthless orc hunter. Hey! Hey! I am not worthless. No, the way, the way Daisy just spawns out of nowhere. 
Right, okay. Zulmamwe, where's that? Oh my, how many, how many quests must there be? Oh, I've got more quests up there. See, because we could be going to the Cape right now, but I want to finish the zone off. What do you want? Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. So, yeah, so there's going to be two places we've got to go to. This Zamwe place and, uh, greetings. Night time in the jungle. Yeah, so we have to go to Zal Manway and the Venchco. I'll do the Venchco stuff first. Just because it's here. Um, right, so what we've got to do, we've got to open the thing, get the key. Okay, and tumbled crystals, which I can get from these guys. Let's avoid them for now. So I can either fight a shredder, or I can use the saw blade. Um, so we'll see whichever one is more accessible. Might be the saw blade, to be honest, because it's just going to be over in that uh, building thing on the just the top of my screen. If I see a shredder, I'll fight a shredder, but... Doesn't look like there is one. Oh, I love hunters. <laughs> just gets to a point in combat where you just walk up and it's like, oh, everything's dead. Okay, cool. Got the saw blade, which means we can open the bounty. Good. Um, and then there's a bloke I need to kill. Is there? What's his name? Kozzle. Let's do track humanoids. Hunter tracking. Uh, where's humanoids? Humanoids. There we go. Uh, for God's sake. Yeah. Um, I can't see him. Fallen Kozel. Okay, he's upstairs. That's okay. So we've got to climb this thing, basically. I'm fine with that. Oh, wait, hang on. Is there a... Is there someone up there? For... Oh, there is. Okay. I'm going to have to beat him to the... Actually, actually, I could invite him to a group. Can I steal four man cosel off him? No, I can't. That's annoying. Invite, please. Allow me to get this. Alright, good. Sweet. Thanks. I'm glad they've done that, that even if I don't have the tag, if we join a group, we can both loot it, because it was really annoying when you really had to fight for tags. It's nice that people understand it as well, and they will just be like, yeah, come to my group, it's fine. Right, so we're going to get, is it four more of these tumbled crystals? That was fairly painless. Okay, three more. Whoop, 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 whoop. Where's Daisy? <laughs> Daisy, you are useless. You did absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. But it's okay, I forgive you, Daisy. Alright. I don't know why I typically always look right when I'm doing stuff with a hunter. I'm just sort of like, what's over there? I don't know. Come on, loot. Right. Couple more of these, and I'm happy. Oh, I do love those shoulder pads. I mean, just the fact that they're big and blue. It's great. It's excellent. Oh, oh, the orcs used to have huge shoulder pads, though, like massively so. Uh, Blizzard actually, like, literally nerfed the visuals because they were like, ah, nah, they're too big. They look too cool. It's not fair for every other class, or every other race, rather. Wow, he had a long death animation. <laughs> and you die. Okay, please drop the tumble crystal. I don't want to fight this guy next to me. Okay, sweet. And I got a glimmering mail girdle. Okay. Oh yeah, I get mail armor in 10 <gasps> Ooh. Oh, what have I forgotten? Blueprints. Shit. Always read, John. Never assume. Oh well. Oh well. Right, so where are these blueprints? Are they in this hut? They look like they're going to be in this hut. Oh, there's a shredder. I'm going to just wait for him to stumble on by and go in the hut. Okay, good. Sweet. 
I did question why we why I was just getting a key and nothing more. Um I hand those in now. I'm gonna hand these in now. It's just here, so I might as well. They'll probably give me some more quests, so yeah. We go. We go do. Hmm. I just oh I really Oh no. Don't attack me. Don't attack me, please. Lightning bolt, no. Just get away. Oh, I heard something. Uh, there's the thing in stealth. I've really got to pay attention as to where the hell I'm running toward. Mm. I'm not enjoying this quest hub so much. It, it doesn't feel as important as the others. Like nesting area and stuff. I suppose it is. I've just not done it before. Right. Yep. Yep. And then I can go up here. Wait, no, I can't. It's over here. Somewhere? Yes. You. Come on. Let me hand in my stuffs. Uh, and... Yeah. It's one agility. Yeah, it's probably worth getting. Worth equipping, rather. It's always going to be worth getting. Okay, so they didn't actually give me any more quests. That's fine. Uh, so let's go... Do this. Uh, where's the bridge? There's the bridge. So, yeah, just barrel our way down there. Actually, is there is there some form of hearthstone? Oh god, I don't think there's an innkeeper. I think me running back here is a complete waste of my time. And by extension your time. I'm sorry. No, there isn't an innkeeper, is there? No. Let's just go. Okay, something handy into Gromgold as well. Return the bubbling cauldron. Alright, oh, so that was just um yeah. Okay. So we're following the little lash tail about been in the past few episodes. That's cool. Okay. Over the tree bridge. Yeah, I think we'll finish up uh, Northern uh, STV in uh, in this episode. Nope. Don't care. Leave me alone. Okay. And beeline straight through there. Don't aggro. Okay. And we're all good. Ah, oh, it's so annoying when you're running away, like, or through a pack of mobs, and you just get dazed off your mount, you're just like, fuck! Even worse if you've got, like, four of them following you at the time. Oh, for... For God's sake. Really? Really? Okay. I think these guys are kind of lowish. Yeah, they're level 26, so I should be able to... Uh, uh, stop pressing buttons. Right. Okay. So, we found the ruins. Let's kill these guys. Dead. Okay, well at least they're, they're uh, only one level below me, so I'm, I must be in the right place in the quest line. Always good to know. If you ever find yourself fighting, like, mobs that are, uh, I don't know, three or so levels, like, above or below you, you've probably skipped something or should move on. I mean... Nah, it's, it's not a set fast rule. Like, obviously, if you want to do it, go do it. But, uh, right, brazer. Good. So we gotta extinguish eight of these and bring back some like Badox's brain or some some crap. What's his name? Yeah, Radok. I'm sure, he's around. Kicking it somewhere. I know you're out of range, I'm just pressing the ability for uh, for my purposes, thank you very much, Ratoth. Okay. Ah, level 31. Excellent. Excellent. There's another thing that's nice. Oh, okay, right, so there's, uh, yeah, there's Badok and more Moog the Dead. Hmm. Um, that's one thing that they changed about Hunters that I thought was a really good change. You used to have to level up your pets as well as you, so you would level up to, like, level 31, pet would still be level 30 and then it'd level up to 31 over the next few mobs and it was just it was so pointless I didn't really provide any anything really and it also meant that if you had more than one pet you had to level them all up and it was uh, you couldn't just get a new pet on the fly I mean sure it was probably a bit more like I don't know immersive and RPG and stuff but it was just a hindrance really oh dude 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 Again, please. Really? Really? You're not going to do that? 
Dude, invite me. You're a that guy's a dick. I could I should, I should have just taken that off him. I'll leave him to fight that. Uh, I hate people when they do that. So basically, we both could have got um, credit, and he chose just to ignore it. But it's fine because respawn timers aren't too bad these days. Still, pretty irritating. Oh, let's get these brazes. How many more? There's, they're everywhere. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Do do boo. I love that post haste. That one. All right. Any more for any more? One over there. Uh, I should have. Uh, it's annoying because I was. I I nearly just arcane shotted it, but I didn't tag it because I didn't want to be a douche. But then he was a douche, so should have just done it anyway. Um. I guess I'd wait for a brazier to respawn as well. Don't want anyone else coming up and taking the thing. You could have accepted the invite and allowed me to complete my quest too. You would have lost nothing and out of politeness I didn't take the tag on the mob. Okay, anyway, he's respawned, so I don't care anymore. Right. I didn't call you a noob. Right, okay, I'm basically done talking to this guy now. Anyway, I was just explaining to him what he could have done instead. Uh, right, okay, he basically didn't understand, but it's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. Right. Has a brazier respawned? Or am I going to have to go get one? I'm going to have to go get one, but that's fine because i got to kill some um, four more things anyway. Alright, he can go do that if he wants. I am definitely going to be attacking the mobs around him out of spite because I can kill things faster than him. Okay, if he wants to take the panther, that's absolutely fine by me. You gonna die? No, he's not gonna die. That's a shame. I feel I, I get so vindictive. I mean, everyone does on the internet. It's sort of you know you're just behind a keyboard. It doesn't really matter what you say or do. But um, eh, I'll take his mobs. I'm not. I'm not letting him just, just you know, have absolutely zero repercussions for being a douche. I don't know why I turned around. I just meant I missed my shot. Okay, right, we're all done here. Um, we could run back. I'm tempted to hearth. I'm gonna hearth. Oh, by the way, I am a new. Uh, then next time, if there is a specific... Uh, okay. Quest mob. Wow, okay, so this guy's played for a month and a week, and he's got... Already a, six, a 90 hunter. Okay, fair enough. In specific quest mob, man, someone invites you. It means they don't want to wait for the respawn. Okay, right. Let's help him on his way. Sorry about that. I know you don't particularly want to watch me get into a conversation with random blokes, but it's happened, so deal. Um, okay, let's return this bubbling. Bubbling cauldron. Alright, at least he understood. Um, those are actually worse, which I find quite funny, because I'm losing one stamina. So, what's worth the most money? That's worth the most money. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, and now we've got to fly to Bambler. So, I'm glad we did it in that order, actually, because we need to go back to Bambler anyway. Uh, where's Flight Master? Over here somewhere? Yeah. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Right, now we go Bambala. Microphone Rambala. Right. And then, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, how long have we done? About 10 minutes or so? I don't know. How, how long? Yeah, 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, 
Let's see. Hopefully, I'm I'm really hoping I don't get a load more quests. Um, yeah, we I don't need the Stone Tower Mountains quest anymore, and we're not going there. I really hope we don't get any more quests from Bambler, and we get to just go down to the Cape, because. I've not seen the new quest in the cape, so I'd quite like to do that. Are we going to go after that when we hit level... Oh, 35 doesn't even take you to 40. Um, I don't know. 35. Uh, that's what I marsh, I guess. Oh, we could be doing Southern Barons. Could go do Southern Barons. Um, actually, no, we'll, we'll go do Feralas. Yeah, Feralas will be alright. Okay, good. Right, plenty of quests to hand in. Hitting level 32 would be excellent. Um, sorry about any background noise, by the way. There are, you know, people moving about in the house and doing stuff. Sweet. Okay, he gave me a quest. That's annoying. But we did complete Northern Strangthorn, which is great. Oh, these are all shared now. That's cool. Not completed by Ratoth. Yeah, I was about to say. Hello. Mind Raptor, mind control, very powerful, yes. Be Raptor. Okay, I can help him escape. And then I get a blue. Sweet. Um, do I want the cloak? No, probably the wrist. No, that's intellect. I definitely want the cloak. Okay. Be okay, this should be quite a funny quest, actually. Let's hand this in first. Um, where's the mind's eye? Oh, for God's sake, we have to go into a cave, do we? Uh, is that better? Let's see, it's two. Yeah, mm. yeah, I'll wear it. I will wear that shit. Yeah, it looks fine. Right, so we've just got to get this mind's eye, and then we're done. Right, but let's do this first. The mind control ritual. Right, so I've got to help my little raptor escape from Zulgarub. Okay, so increase my speed for five seconds. Right, oh, I can speak to raptors, can I? You wish to escape? That is fine, but you must know some things first. Stay away from trolls. They will not kill you, but they will trap you and bring you back here. Speak with every speak with every raptor you see. Not only will they teach you new abilities, but they will help you remember your progress. Okay, this looks this looks awesome. So the raptors don't actually want to be there at all. Um Right, so I've got to sneak out of Zulker up as a raptor. That's brilliant. Jump up here? I can. Oh, there's another raptor. Dash. Meh. Okay. Hey, Tan Chang. Learn to bite through nets. Sweet. Right, so now I can chew through Gurubashi nets, which is good. Now, if you don't know Zulgarub, you would know that you could just walk here. But I do know Zulgarub, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Tenji you. Food for the sleeping trolls. You know, I was commanded to guard this post for escapes, but I think I understand why you'd want to leave. Um, but you also want to, might be able to steal it from the sleeping. Steal food from the sleeping Giribashi soldiers. In the tent. In the. Right. So he's going to let me out if I can steal some food. Is that? How the. They're not asleep. They're not asleep at all. <laughs> no, that's terrifying. I want to get out of here. Maybe he means down. Does he mean down? What does he say? Um, packs of wrapped food. I'm for the Okay. Did they? Did he mean down here? I suppose all group is pretty massive. He could easily mean down here. Probably doesn't mean down there, because there's three guys guarding that way. Oh dear. This is an interesting quest. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, so it's got to be these tents, so I basically have to avoid all these guys and sneak into a tent. Okay. Not really entirely sure how I'm meant to do that. It looks like the tents are guarded pretty heavily. Oh, oh. What? What is that noise? What What was that noise? Okay, is there... These look unguarded. Please? <gasps> oh, 
my sleeping guru bashi soldiers in here. Sweet. Steel wrapped food. Okay. I don't know what that. Oh no, that is my phone going off. I will speak to that in that person in a bit. And probably put it on my lap so it doesn't make that vibration noise again. Okay. This is yeah, this is a sick quest. Blizzard, you you do well. I still want to know what that little almost banjo kazooie sound is. Brought some food for you. Thank you, in return I'll Okay. Learn to light fires. Okay. Pick up burning twigs from braziers and then use light fire to burn down the tiki's. I can do that. Okay. So let's pick up a stick. And then burning twig what? What did that why didn't that do anything? Or do I just walk next to it? And plus three. Okay, so they're totally distracted. Can't go that way. Probably need another stick. Oh yeah. Right, um. Go on, go put your tiki out. We run. Pick up another one of these. Oh, I need to get out of this bloody thing. Let's uh do that. Missing Regent, burning twig. Oh no, don't say. Right. Bye bye. Aha! Hello to you. Quite impressive to made it this far. You truly talented young raptor. Okay. If you drop a skull in their path, you may cause them to trip and fall. Okay. So it's just the bridge I need to do, is it? This is um This is quite this is, I don't know, like I wouldn't consider this easy per se. I mean if I get caught now, I think I go pretty much all the way back. Wait, so what do I do? I don't know, is that good? What happens when they see that skull? What happens? Who left that man? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was like blizzard really. Oh dear, okay. But fair enough, I guess. <laughs> the, the, I guess the idea is that they stood on the skull and then like fell off the bridge, but realistically speaking, like, there's no reason why someone would do that. It's just... Oh, look, 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 right, so... If you're that troll, you're like, hmm, why is that skull in the middle of the bridge? Because there's nothing else for you to look at. To be honest, you would have seen me put it down. And it's like, oh no! <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I'm almost out. Unless there's going to be like some mad combination of all the abilities now. I probably don't I want to walk down the middle. Okay, am I almost out? Am I almost out? I am. Okay. But first, I just need... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, quick. 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 Do that. N n go. Go, 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 go. Yes. Raptor free. I am... Oh, shit. Whoops. Um. No. I'm totally not trying to escape. Ain't no... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, he didn't escape. Man, I was so close. I put in all that work. <sighs> oh, to summon Hakkar. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, little raptor bro. I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, uh I'm just going to ignore that guy. A new cage build up, we've got plenty of ways to teach her not to escape. <sighs> oh. Oh. He knows it's me. <sighs> Actually dropped me into a grub for half a second. Right. That's that is a pity. That was a sick quest though.
What a shame. Yep, pretty much. Uh, this is what the spirits wanted. I don't want any of that stuff, do I? No. Let's get some uh, cape, cape business up in here. Uh, report to Circuit at Babbler. Right, so let's have to stop stairs or something. Want me to tank it for you to make it faster? I was done ages ago, ma'am. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, so we've handed that in. So we have one little quest to do. So let's let's just do that. Let's just do the little quest. And then... That's about half an hour, so that'll be fine. No, the boss then... No, not like that. Kill the boss, then use it on her while she is not dead. What? So they pop. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh dear. I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't want to turn around to this guy and be like, Oh, bye, I'm recording. But yeah, whatever. Um, right, let's jump off here and do this. Take a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Kill you. Actually get pretty close so we can get in the cave. Do that. I've handed it in already. Come on. Little lion. Do you not see someone casting a spell at your master? Are you choosing to ignore it? Right, uh, this guy's probably going to be at the back of the cave. So... Ow. Bloody ow, chain lightning. No one likes that. <laughs> okay. Okay. But yeah, um, as far as this channel goes for now. Um, I'm I'm now on holiday break, so I should be able to put more time into it, which is great. Um, I was thinking about doing some Smite stuff, maybe a bit of Hearthstone stuff. I actually got my first 12 wins in Arena the other day, which was sick. Um, shame I didn't record it, to be honest. It was a it was an awesome, awesome deck. Um, but yeah, so it, just, if, you know, if you want to see me do any particular sort of content, just leave a comment and um, I might get around to it. You never know. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do much Elder Scrolls Online stuff, uh, just because uh, it's too big of a sus subscription fee for what the game is, in my opinion. Um, if if you want to play Elder Scrolls, then that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to uh, not going to discourage you from that. But with Wildstar ra right around the corner, and there's other stuff I can do, so I nah, I don't nah, I'm not going to be doing much Elder Scrolls, um, unless of course you guys want me to do a load of Elder Scrolls, because you know if if that's what you want to see, I'll be happy to go do it. But uh. Yeah. So that's basically the plan. Uh, I was thinking Smite Sundays, because they both start with S. I suppose I could do Smite Saturdays, but it doesn't roll off the tongue as well. Um, and of course, I'll keep leveling up Ratoth to the best of my ability, as fast as possible. I just, I, it's annoying, because I've essentially lost two weeks of leveling on this guy, which means, what, we'd be level 50-ish? Um, which would be nice, but then thinking about the fact that I'm only two weeks away from level 50 isn't bad either. So yeah, it's all going alright. Oh, get away from me, Ogre. Just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Okay. Handle, finally handing this quest. I didn't... I assume I got this quest at the wrong time somehow. Because, I don't know, whatever. Okay, what? Green of... Nimboya? Where's that? What? Oh, for, uh, no. And I just... I don't... I don't... I, really? All the way down there again? Let's do this instead. Mm, already mounted. Why don't they just dismount you? Okay. Right, so I think we're saying goodbye to Northern Stranglethorn. Um, I mean, there's a couple more quests to do, but we've got the achievement. And it's just... I can't be bothered to walk that far. I mean, this episode's about 40 minutes long, so that's about right. Um, why am I opening Atlas Loop? Like, why am I... Just why? Just why? It's what, it's what I go to do. Like, if I'm bored on a uh, on a flight path, I'll just be like, oh, okay, let's have a look. And then uh, collections. Oh, look look at the, the hunter stuff. Let's see what that looks like. What was, what was that, actually? Wow. That's what, whoa. Whoa. That's awesome. What the hell is that? <coughs> <laughs> that gear looks ridiculous. 
Oh dear. That is kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. I think the uh, tier designs have really gone downhill since uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Well, about midway through Wrath of the Lich King, I think they started going downhill. Ah, Yield Guru Bashi Arena. How much fun. It's just a complete open PvP zone. If you've never been, anyone can attack anyone, and it's brutal. Ooh, Goblin Town. Sweet. Right, well, here we are in uh, Hard Ranch Hideaway. Hello, sassy Hard Ranch. That's so sassy. Look how sassy you are. The extortion. We got it all. Right. Yep. <laughs> Don't try anything stupid. <laughs> like, I love the sort of like mobster feel that goblins have. Alright. Sweet. Now, let me find an inn. This looks like an inn. It's an inn? No. It's just a random room. That's one thing. I don't think I've spent much time in goblin towers at all, so I don't know what anything looks like. Um, There's got to be an inn somewhere, right? Okay, there's a mailbox, so... Oh, there's an inn. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Just four bunk beds. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to pay you. Okay, right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Death by Lemmings and uh, Ratoth with Daisy just hiding, hiding in the corner. Oh, she's 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 going to bed. She's going to bed. That's fine. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like, whatever. Uh, you 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 know what to do, and yeah, uh, have a very very good day.